Konnichiwa. Hello everyone. This is Christopher in Japan and today I'd like to talk a little bit about 3D printing. So last year I posted a number of videos about my experiences with these two robots in the back of the room and they're both uh, made out of largely out of 3D printed parts. I first encountered 3D printing in the 1990s and I guess I have to admit I was a little bit skeptical about it. Uh, but I decided to kind of give this another chance and delve into it a little bit more seriously. So I ordered this 3D printer last year and I finally got my act together and put it together last week. So I've been printing for the last week with this. Uh, it was a really fun experience because it was sort of a hole in one turned it on, no sparks flow, uh, it actually started printing reasonably well, and, but I'm still getting my feet wet and uh, trying to learn about uh, how to improve the quality of these parts and how to maybe perfect the build of this printer. So I'm still using PLA, which is made out of cornstarch or sugar cane, um, not uh, petroleum products for the time being. It's pretty easy to use, um, but it maybe isn't as, uh, doesn't have the wonderful characteristics uh, that some of the plastics do, uh, the petroleum-based ones and other sophisticated things do. In the future, I'd like to post some videos about my experiences putting this printer together and also some of my early experiences with tuning it and trying to make it work better. And I'd also hope that I'll be able to publish some videos about my experiences designing and making some practical things using 3D printed parts. Thank you for watching my videos and thank you for your, all your ideas and questions and feedback. Thank you, Jane, also for the peeps. Uh, the manufacturer of this printer provided some gummy bears, which uh, didn't last through the build. So peeps, which are a little easier on my teeth, um, helped me to get through the last parts of this. Mata aimashou. Bye-bye.